Now, that same week, Steven Jackson visits, well, checks in to O Block. That same week where you're screaming Tukaville, he go checks in on O Block. What's your, what was your whole thoughts on that? And he pop his collar. He brag about it. This million dollar nigga saying, yeah, he pushed this narrative that men have to check in with boys. This is a grown man with kids, and not only that, a multi-millionaire with a extremely large platform checking in with boys. And he made it seem like if you can't do this and you don't do this, you ain't real. He ain't no different than a nigga coming home from prison saying, yeah, nigga, if you don't go down there and walk the yard like I walk the yard and fuck your two punks and have a nigga washing your drawers and running the game, you ain't no real nigga, nigga. That's the narrative he just pushed. It was a sad sight to see. And I was hoping one of them young niggas robbed him or killed him. Yeah, I was hoping he got robbed and killed. I was hoping the next video said, oh, man, them young niggas played on him and robbed his motherfucking ass, and one of them young niggas shot him. Because black men like him needs to be eradicated with that ideology. I'm going to keep asking this question. At what point in the black man's life is he free from the obligations of the hood? When do those destructive obligations said, okay, my nigga, you served enough, you free to go. When? You talking about an NBA player checking in the O block. What about Tukaville? Why not go to Tukaville and play basketball with the old babies too? Why do King, why does the industry just support King Vaughn, homie? And they know, based on his arrest record, his jail record, he was accused of multiple murders. Why, why do they widely, openly hug on him? And it's King Von this, and it's never those other people, duck them people. Why does the industry pick sides in Chicago? That's, mm. my, that's what I want to know. So since the industry picks sides, and I've been going against the industry since I've gotten here, why not come over here with Duck Nim and Tukerville and pick sides against the industry? This ain't got nothing with Chicago. I'm going against the industry. This ain't got nothing with me and Chicago people, nigga. You niggas get out my motherfucking way, nigga. I'm taking on a machine that can snap their fingers and have me erased. But nigga, somebody got to challenge it. And the last person I know to challenge it was Miss Tucker, Miss Dolores Tucker. Dolores C. Tucker, you a motherfucker. They got Tupac to go against Miss Tucker. I went against Miss Tucker too, as a little bitty boy and teenager listening to Tupac, old bitch. So you think they ain't got them going against me? I'm the new Dolores Tucker. Cussing motherfucker, don't give a fuck about nothing, ain't scared of nothing. I'm the new Dolores Tucker. They picked King Von, I picked Duck Mama and Tuka Mama. I didn't pick them, they picked me when I spoke on it. I openly spoke on men. Well, how can they say smoking Tuka? And I find out this woman was pleading with the industry. And they ignored her plea, so I plead for her. Yeah. I mean, O Block. It's a tourist attraction now. It's people that come from London, people that came from Alaska. I'm going to make Tuka a tourist attraction. I'm going to get Tuka a Wikipedia page because Charleston White got a Wikipedia page and I know how to get them now and make them active and get them published. We're going to get Tuka a worldwide look. He was a wrestler. You think I ain't finna tap into WWE for Tuka? Nigga, I'm a marketing, advertising genius on my own. Nigga, watch. I got his mama to come forward. They represent O Block. Nigga, Charleston White got Tukaville. 
and I'm going to clean it up. They can't clean up Obala. That's going to be the difference. See, I can clean up Tukaville. They can't clean up Obala. Obala still represents destruction and death. See, I got a bigger voice than the people that's left behind on Tukaville. I got a bigger platform than anybody in Chicago hollering Tuka. Nobody got a bigger platform than me. And they, ain't, and they ain't tapped into his mama where the world can hear the pain of his mother. See, niggas listen to a nigga mama. Mama pain is a motherfucker. Mama pain make gangsters eyes tear up. So I know what to do, nigga. Put their mamas back before them. And Tuka mama is perfect because now she's in the beginning stages of her healing process 11 years later. And she can talk about it now, but she still cry. See, Tuka, boy, they don't know what pain they call. His little sister had to go through mental problems after he died. She went into a mental hospital, homie, because Tuka's name becomes so big. The ultimate disrespect. Now, all of a sudden, I'm wrong. Y'all sat by silently and quiet while everybody say smoke Tuka, fuck Tuka. Now here I come saying fuck this dead person. Now everybody making me to be wrong. The gangsters coming up against me. The Crips coming up against me. But then nobody come up against nobody for saying fuck Tuka. Mm -hmm. Now all of a sudden Charleston is this evil person because he disrespecting the dead. Tuka was disrespected before anybody else, before I even came about. What was y'all then? What was this anger? What was the same outrage that y'all got for me? For them niggas. It's fake. It's phony. But nigga, what I'm doing with Miss Dominique, nigga, this is real.